Matte painting can be done in After Effects, but in today's video, we're gonna work in Nuke X and then we're gonna use Photoshop as well to create our matte painting. We're gonna take all our footage files and then we're gonna export them to Nuke X for the final result. So let's jump to us um, to Photoshop. I got my matte painting done already. I'm not gonna go back and recreate this it up to you guys if you wanna do your matte painting go ahead and then we're gonna jump to nuke you can save that I got I saved mine already let me just look for it and for those that have not used nuke I'm just gonna pretend like this is my first time using Nuke, so you can understand what I'm doing. Let's double click that. Break breakout layers. This is what we have from Photoshop. And then we're just gonna delete all this. We don't need it. Let's go to what I need. This one. This one. And then let's go to the 3D. I'm gonna need a card. Let's just copy this. Control C, Control V, and then we're gonna need a camera, and then we're gonna need a scene as well. And let's change it to the side that I did my matte painting in in Photoshop and then let's connect that I'm gonna need a scan line render scan line render there we go And this is the simple way you can view your 3D and your 2D. Let's go to the 3D mode. Double click on that. We'll just push it back. And then this one as well. Push it back. And then let's view that. Go back a little bit. Let's push this guy again. Alright. Nope. Let's go back. Go to the, the go to the first frame. This is real simple. Let's animate our camera. Just go to the beginning. Set a keyframe, go to the last frame, and then just zoom in a little bit. Let's see what we get. Let's preview this. Alright, in the second part of the video, we're gonna do some compositing. So we're just gonna merge those together and see the final result. <laughs> 